What's up, Towners? Uh, today, uh, me and the wife, we snuck out again without the kiddos and went to breakfast. I think they're going to find out one of these days, but we ended up going to a cynical restaurant. It's on a Veterans Memorial in uh, Austell, Georgia. Here's a picture of the uh, menu that they have. They have a lot of different options on this uh, menu to choose from, uh, but not that many keto friendly options, low card, low card options. Um, and when I say that, it basically is because everything on the menu pretty much comes with some sort of bread or biscuit or toast, um, pancakes, things of that sort. Um, Acts to, uh, they will allow you to substitute, but it's just that when you, the substitution is pretty much just taking it away, um, or substituting for a different carb option. So, I mean, you can definitely do it. You just, you know, remove that from your plate completely. Um, I ordered the, uh, loaded omelet, which, uh, came with onions, peppers, tomatoes, olives, mushrooms, spinach, uh, your choice of cheese and a meat like bacon, turkey, bacon, or sausage, and then, um, toast. So I just had them just leave it all on the plate and just dealt with it when it came. Uh, my wife, she ended up ordering the uh, Simon croquettes, but, um, yeah, the restaurant, like I said, they have a lot of different options to choose from. If, if, if you weren't doing keto, just a lot of great options. Um, that, uh, chicken wraps, uh, burritos, omelets, um, chicken waffles, uh, catfish and cheese grits, red velvet waffles. Um, like I said, just a bunch of different things to choose from that I definitely would wouldn't mind coming back here to try something different. Um, when my food came, here is my omelet. Um, I was able to substitute the olives for jalapenos, which they did at no charge. Thank you. <laughs> I was ready to uh, pop out my jalapenos. So I'm still going to do that. In one of these, rest, one of these videos, you're going to see me busting out my jalapenos out of my Ziploc bag or something. Uh, here's my wife's uh, chick, um, Simon croquettes with grits. The uh, Simon croquettes looked like they were pretty much just a large uh, ball of salmon that salmon that was uh, rolled up and breaded and then deep fried. Nice bready, nice coating on the outside. Um, it looks like there's a lot of meat inside of them also. I was able to taste the inside of one of them. It, it wasn't super uh, bready or anything. It was, you can definitely taste the, the salmon in that. Uh, here's my omelet breaking open. Um, I thought there was like a roll of like turkey lunch meat on the outside of it, but that was the uh, provolone cheese. Um, it wasn't melted. It was just placed on top, but from the residual heat from the omelet that did uh, help melt that. This omelet came out looking a thousand times better than the one I got the other day from Thumbs Up Diner. So I'm <laughs> definitely proud of that. Um, I didn't get a side of salad with that, though. But um, I would yeah, definitely wouldn't mind coming back to this restaurant. Uh, the only issue that I had was that there was a bit of a wait. But I think that was just because this restaurant also does Uber Eats and DoorDash orders. All right, guys, we're back um, from the diner. Uh, did you want to get your little? Mm, no, sir. Little close up of it. She saved. I leftovers. One and a quarter. It was a lot of food. She saved one and a quarter good. balls and a two spoonful of grits. <laughs> two spoonful. Yeah. Um, but how'd you like the restaurant? Yeah, so it was Cynical Bistro, and I liked it. The food was good. The salmon balls, they were big. They were about tennis ball size, maybe a little bit bigger than that. So, and they gave you three of them. So, I had leftovers because I was full after eating one, maybe one and a half. But the flavor was good. Um, it wasn't extra fishy. It was seasoned. I felt like it could have had more of a kick to it, like some cayenne pepper up in there but you know you can put your own hot sauce on it if you, if you want to and go in there but um other than that i really liked it the grits were cooked smoothly I had butter on the grits i didn't have to add my own butter to it um so yeah i mean i would go back there was a lot of butter on it actually that's what the, I, I thought mine was super greasy but it was just i think butter i think that's the southern way of cooking stuff though you put butter on everything everything the uh my omelet it was my omelet was pretty much like a uh like a half fold omelet with just filled with top it was like like you just take the omelet or the eggs and just filled it up with a crap load of toppings and then just fold it over that's pretty much how my it wasn't like a full wrap and roll like but i didn't have a problem with that i mean it was but a, were the toppings like seasoned yeah, yeah it was good like salt, i'm just explaining how it was but you know, the, the toppings were good the, I, I had no issues with they gave me a lot of jalapenos they didn't have to ask for it um so it wasn't an upcharge no no they didn't uh, they didn't 
which I was cool with. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I had no problems with it. It was just, like I said, the only issue that I had, I would say, was the wait time. Um, it took a little bit longer, but they were people were coming in, picking up DoorDash and Uber Eats orders because they're only open from like seven to three. So I think those orders were coming in, and they were you know doing them as they come as the order come through. But um, yeah, they, they that, cook they cook the food to order, but oh, yeah. um, it did seem like it was a little bit longer than usual to get our food. But I mean, the food was good, the customer service was good, everybody was friendly up in there. So, um, I enjoyed it. I would go back. Would you? Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's it. All right. See you guys later. Peace. Enjoy. And please subscribe. Enjoy. Hey, Towners. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. All ingredients and directions are listed in the description box below each video. And as always, thank you guys for watching.